home. Here's Gwendolyn Ducree. It can happen anywhere. I'm still sort of paranoid. Even near this unassuming historic neighborhood in Fountain City, where it's taking residents like Joe Dixon weeks to heal from a mass shooting. I've never felt so connected to all of the people who have died in gun violence in all of the events that have happened in our country until what happened here. He heard shots and saw the chaos coming from what police call a biker gang shooting at Hatmakers Bar and Grill on April 29th. Two people were killed, three injured. A mass shooting is defined as at least four people shot in one incident. Knoxville's first mass shooting this year was in January when four women were shot in a car parked in East Knoxville. I feel like I'm always looking over my shoulder. Safety experts say it's time to think of a line of defense and not just with a gun. Something Eric Matson calls situation awareness. Do what if scenarios in your mind. So if I go to a certain place and this happens, what do I need to do? Be aware of your surroundings, what you're doing, where you're going, actually how you're carrying items in your hand. A plan for the entire family. Moving children in a critical situation, how are they going to follow you? Are you going to try to pick them up and carry them? Are they going to hang on to your, your belt loop in your pants? Uh, is mom going to go first? Is dad going to go first? Who's with? Are you pushing a baby carriage? There's things that you have to take in consideration. And what's important, it's not your stuff, it's your family. A weapon you can carry anytime, any place. I know the solution is out there and it's going to take people from all political viewpoints to come together. Unfortunately, I just don't think that the political environment right now will allow people to come together like that, though. In Knoxville, Gwendolyn Ducree, WVLT News. And there are a bunch of safety training classes in our area. KPD even offers free courses year round. Knoxville police still looking for the killer in that deadly shooting outside of Fountain City Bar.